and welcome to the dedication of the Patricia and Cornelius J. Higgins 62 Engineering and Science Center. I am Tom Moriello, Vice President for Advancement, and it is so good to be with you on this historic occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a privilege to serve beside our president. Under Dr. O'Donnell, we have enjoyed two major capital campaigns and various other fundraising initiatives, raising approximately $250 million, or should I say a cool quarter billion. Today, at this historic event, we celebrate one of the crowning achievements of our most recent capital campaign, Secure the Promise. It is my pleasure to introduce our president, the 19th president of Manhattan College, Dr. Brennan O'Donnell. Thank you very much, Tom. Welcome, everyone. The Doctors Higgins, I like the Doctors Higgins, I like that. <laughs> and members of the Higgins family, here in front, uh, trustees uh, of Manhattan College, including our esteemed chairman, Mr. Bill Dooley, trustees past and present, alumni and friends, valued advisors of the college, faculty, administration, staff, and of course, students of Manhattan College. Kevin, representing the students here, it's good to have you here. Many more of them are working diligently in these labs, even as we speak, and so we can get to see them on tour. What a pleasure it is to see you here all today to officially dedicate this magnificent new addition to our campus and give thanks for the great, great generosity of Cornelius and Patricia Higgins in providing the inspirational gift that made this a reality. Our being here today is testament to the vision, dedication, hard work, and of course generosity of many, many members of the Manhattan College community and its friends over many years. Thanks to them, to you, Manhattan continues as an institution to be remarkably adaptable in meeting the challenges and changing dynamics of the world it serves, all the while maintaining and deepening its commitment to its almost 170-year heritage as a LaSallean Catholic College. As no one here needs to be reminded, Manhattan has, from its founding, had a well-deserved reputation for excellence in what are now known as the STEM disciplines, or more accurately, in the combination of excellence in those disciplines and in the traditional liberal arts. Today, we mark another bold step forward in dedicating this state-of-the-art and quite beautiful building, isn't it? I want to thank everyone here for all that you've done to make this a great day in Manhattan College history and to make it possible, Pat and Neil Higgins preeminently, but also the scores of generous alumni and friends who have provided such strong support without which we never could have made this happen. Thank you for all of your strong and faithful support of Manhattan and for inspiring all of us to do all we can to build Manhattan's future on the strong foundations of its illustrious past. The Higgins Engineering and Science Center will allow us to prepare our future scientists and engineers with all the new labs, laboratories we have, especially in the introductory science courses. There are teaching labs here in biology, chemistry, and physics for our undergraduate students, and nearly every student on campus will end up taking a course in this building. This building represents the future of Manhattan College's science program. It means a lot for the School of Engineering. I think it means a lot to the students. You can just walk around your cells. And we have the new labs in this building, uh, the chemistry, physics, biology. We have the chemical engineering, the uh, mechanical engineering, and the civil engineering laboratories in this building. Those are all brand new. We have some envir new environmental labs uh, coming in as, uh, and put in place. There's a lot of things going on in this, this entire complex. It's a magnet, it's a magnet. It's gonna be a magnet for students, it's gonna be a magnet for funding, it's gonna be a magnet for research and those types of things as well. Neil and Pat Higgins have long been dear friends to the college and to so many of us personally. It is a privilege to share in the remarkable change that they have brought to our campus and most of all, our students. It is with great pleasure that I now present to you a loyal alumnus, generous donor, and very dear friend, Dr. Cornelius Higgins.
Chairman Dooley, former chairman and, and fellow tr former trustee of Mr. O'Malley, President O'Donnell, fellow trustees past and present, Christian Brothers, college leadership, faculty, administrators, and staff, students, fellow alumni, and some classmates, friends and neighbors, and particularly Patricia, my wife of 58 years, Eileen and Christopher, my children, Christopher's wife and my daughter-in-law, Stephanie, Patrick, my grandson, Evelyn, my granddaughter, and my brothers-in-law, Timothy and Michael Grant, and Michael's daughter, Jackie. Thank you all for joining us for the dedication of the Higgins Center for Engineering and Science, a continuation of the advancement of engineering and science at Manhattan College. First, I want to emphasize that excellence in executing Manhattan College's Catholic LaSallean mission and excellence in the teaching of engineering and science is not primarily dependent upon facilities. I'm a graduate of the class of 1962. That was almost 60 years ago. I attended class mainly in what we call the shacks. In fact, some of the laboratories were in the, base, the basement of Miguel Hall, and the Leo Engineering Building was just the plan. Yet my class and other classes of that era produced CEOs, presidents, senior leaders of national and international organizations in engineering, science, construction, utilities, and government. In addition, they produced excellent engineering and science professors and department heads at universities around the country. 18 Manhattan alumni are members of the National Academy of Engineering, a remarkable number that stands with the most recognized universities in the country. So the programs, the caring environment, the excellence and dedication of the leadership, faculty, and staff are the essential keys to a great education in any discipline. Manhattan provided those keys then, and it does so today. Nevertheless, facilities must keep pace with current state-of-the-art teaching and research standards. The Leo Engineering Building came online over 50 years ago. The building that Patricia and I support is an important step in the modernization of all of our engineering and science facilities. The building provides state-of-the-art laboratories as well as space for student and faculty research and project collaboration. This new space also integrates with the modernization of Leo Hall. Importantly, the new center is an important element in forging an integrated South Campus. When you visit the center, you'll immediately note, if you haven't already, the bright openness of the space. The building itself celebrates and reflects the engineering and science disciplines through the physical expression of the structure and the mechanical and electrical systems. They are there for all to see. The interior glass wall and the exterior glass reflects the latest building technology that permits natural light to sweep through the space. Importantly, the building has received a LEED Gold Rating from the U.S. Green Building Council LEED, the initials L-E-E-D, mean leadership in energy and environmental design. That award is recognized internationally and certifies a healthy, highly efficient, and cost-saving building. Patricia and I thank God for a wonderful life. Not absolutely perfect, but pretty good. We're blessed with terrific children, grandchildren, extended family, and friends. God has blessed us with great opportunities and satisfying and fruitful careers. We were members of the first generation to go to college in our families. We felt that it was time to give back. When I reflect on my life, it is clear to me that Manhattan College is an essential element in whatever success I have had. Manhattan College provided the moral and academic bases for activities, for all activities of my life. Patricia and I want Manhattan to continue to provide the invaluable opportunity that I had to future generations. So we are, we are pleased to support the Engineering and Science Center. But our contribution alone was not near enough to achieve the building that we have today. Individuals measured in tens contributed substantially to the, the funding of this building. And when you tour the building, I encourage you to view the wall of donors in order to grasp the great generosity of alumni and friends of Manhattan College. Again, thank you all for coming today.
so far I'm actually taking one class in this building on the third floor for my anatomy and physiology lab and personally I actually like the experience a lot. Everyone is definitely really excited to utilize this more and more. Next semester I'm actually taking a class again here for my manufacturing processes lab and it's actually a really exciting class because I really get to utilize the really new lab equipments that they have here. And I think the professors are really excited because we're definitely pushing the limits this year and it really is just pushing what we can do at Manhattan College, especially with the students. We really enjoy it and especially this new shiny building is definitely really exciting for us. I think this is the uh, epitome of an educational center. It's not, it's not so much, it's, it's what the equipment that's in the building. It's the, focus of the kids when they're learning in a modern facility like this. From a teaching pers perspective, a recruiting perspective, when you see a new facility that invigorates you, number one. Number two, you also know that the alumni are behind you and, the, and, and we're showing industry. This is a phenomenon. We're, we're, we're showing industry what we're capable of. It's the, uh, it's the staff, it's the faculty, it's the leadership, it's the Christian brothers uh, and all of the religious communities. It's the students. You have to have quality students who really have a passion for engineering and science. So they bring that to the table and that's what they're going to take away to industry or graduate education. Manhattan College is what set me on a successful career and we wanted to set others on, the, on a successful career as well. I think that the, the mission of the college is person-centered as well as centered on education itself, and, uh, and that is the purpose of our contributing to this.